Hello, my name is Sam the Fever. I'm a freshman here at Cal Poly and I'm 19 years old. Mexico, Canada, Costa Rica, Fiji, Australia. Did I say Costa Rica? Yeah. Okay. Fiji is kind of a third world country, so they're pretty poor and resourceful. And with that, they're really happy because they don't have many possessions, so they kind of make their own fun. And they're really nice people. I build roofs on top of these little houses. I cook some meals, and I taught soccer to little kids. Oh, for fun there. We travel around the island on a bus, and around the islands on a boat, and then we like scuba diving and skydiving and all that good stuff. It made me realize how lucky I am to have what I have, but also made me that made me think how much more complex my life is, like having to accompany my needs and wants, because I'm so, like, I feel a lot more spoiled when I came back and their lives are so simple, they can just have fun with a ball with like 30 people just running around and we have to have our fun with like huge TVs and video games and stuff like that. I went to the Steve Irwin Zoo and I worked with koalas and kangaroos. I was kind of a zookeeper assistant and I worked at the Crocodile Show with Steve Irwin's wife. And then after I did work, I got to have some fun, toured around on an off-road vehicle into the outback. I went scuba diving, skydiving, bungee jumping, good stuff like that. It's a program called Rustic Pathways and I'd never heard of it, my mom found it, and I didn't know anybody I went with, so I kind of had to make friends and then kind of just did my own thing for a while until I got more comfortable with other people. It's actually my parents' ideas to put me out there, and I obviously I'm not gonna say no to that, because in high school, community service was required, and they wanted me to travel, and they put me out at an early age, and I'm really glad they did it, because I love it now. Freshman year of high school, I went with my dad and some family friends. Just went on some safaris through the jungle, zip lining through the jungle, went to the beach, went horseback riding, and that was an all fun trip, but it was educational at the same time. We had tour guides who led us and like kind of explained the wildlife there, plants, animals, and then kind of the history of Costa Rica. going with mom, dad, and little brother, and then a bunch of other family, friend kind of people. And this trip will be more safari and just kind of just for our own enjoyment and education, and I'm looking forward to it. I want to go to a lot of places. I feel like a lot of people have been to Europe and I've yet to go there. So that's definitely a must, and just some places that people never heard of. I just want to go just check them out. I just want to explore the world, see what there is to see. I want to compare my life to other people's lives and see what I'm missing, and see what they're missing, and just kind of see what else there is out there. And just, I know there's different scenery, which I want to enjoy, and I just want to experience different lifestyles. There's a lot out there and we're stuck in a little bubble here in the United States so I recommend getting out there if you have the chance take it and for all we know we only live one life so just see what there is to see.